outbreak of E. coli spreading in the South. Already 14 people in six states have gotten sick. One person has died, and we still don't know where the bacteria originated. Senior medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen is here, and I was asking you a number of questions about this because as a parent, uh, I'm even more concerned about this. Uh, what do we know at this point um, about where this possibly has come from? Right, all we know is that it's a strain of E. coli called 0145, and this is a vicious strain of E. coli because it produces toxins. So you have the bacteria, and then it produces toxins. It can shut down your entire body, and we've already seen one death. Now, we're told that they suspect that this has come from one source, and that's because when they look at this under the microscope, the molecular fingerprint is identical when you look at person to person to person. And you can see, you can see right here, this is how they do this, is they collect specimens from all the people, and now they have to figure out what the source is. All right, so we've got one infant that has died uh, in New Orleans, right? Right. And then there are a number of people that have gotten sick, and you're explaining to me they're doing very intense interviews with these individuals to try and track down the source. Tell me how that works. They sit down with the CDC investigators and state investigators will sit down with people and will get a list of everything that that person ate. They want to know everything and they're particularly going to pay attention to meat products and to produce because we've seen E. coli in beef, we've seen it in lettuce, for example, and they want to know what people ate and when they ate it. I mean, they've been seeing these cases since April 15th. This is not an entirely new thing. So they know that something was out there in the food system since April 15th and that it seems like it's still out there because they're still hearing new cases. I mean, we were told earlier today 13 cases. Now we're hearing 16 cases. So this appears to be growing. So we can we pretty much it's, it didn't take place at a restaurant. Right, and let me correct myself, I said 16 cases, I should have said 14. Okay. So we were hearing fewer cases and now we're hearing more cases. Okay. So, right, it's probably not just, you know, Joe's restaurant in one place that had one, you know, sick waiter who got everybody sick. I mean, you're seeing this spread across six states, which is what we're being told now, six states. When you're seeing that, it, it makes you think that it's a food that has gotten into the food system. For example, perhaps it's a meat product, which is distributed widely. Perhaps it's spinach. Uh, perhaps it's lettuce. You know, we just don't right. know. But we know that it's in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, and then two more states. And no one's told us the names of those two states, but we're told there are two more states in addition to the four I just named. Final question, how quickly will we know something? You know, when they sit down and talk to people, they actually can figure out relatively quickly what the commonality the is connection. between the connection, right? Think of it as epidemiological detective work. Right. I mean, they, these, this is what they do. These, these epidemiological investigators do this for a living, and they, they, they get to it pretty quickly. All right. Well, we'll definitely see on the story. Keep us updated, okay? Thanks. Thank you. And we'll keep all of you uh, updated as we get more information. Until then, you can stay safe by remembering to wash your hands, make sure that all food that you eat is fully cooked, and of course, there's a lot more information on the E. coli bacteria. All you have to do is visit E. coli. Coli.gov.